Hello students, let's try to understand the one more problem. This is the index problem of coordination compound. This is the third index problem student. So, we have to understand this. Indicate the type of isomerism exhibited by following complex and draw the structure of these. And here this is the, you uh, know, this is the ligand. So, they are non ionizable so the way it will not show the ionization isomerism neither it will show the coordination isomerism so what it can show is students neither. so water cannot also go outside because there is no uh, negative ion outside so what we can do is student what the isomerism it can represent so we need to draw the structure then only we can say student so the first one it is the k CR this is the H2O one bracket twice C2O4 another bracket it is again going to be twice. So, what is going to happen student this is the CR how many is there. So, it can represent the geometrical isomerism student here H2O H2O opposite side I am putting. So, it is going to be trans it is the oxalate ion student. So, oxalate ion you can put the O x here, this is here and O x here, this is the here and what it will be? This is the minus and here is the k plus and if you are this is the transform because why it is transform because similar group are opposite side O x is this is the left right. Now, another one is also possible student what this is the C r like coordination number is the 6. So, 6 bond we have to represent. So, O x you can represent like this one student O x here this is the O x here this one is there and the H 2 O can be here and H 2 O can be here. Uh, now, similar group are same side student you can find similar group are same side. So, if similar group are same side student. So, this is going to be what is going to be this is the C sign so much right. Um, now, cis isomers it exhibit the optical isomerism iso also optical isomerism. The region behind this one there is no center of symmetry you cannot cut this compound in the two equal part students. So, there is no center of symmetry. So, that is why it is optically isomerism also right. Now, Second one C O E N thrice C L three is there. The second one is student we are going C O here is ethylene diamine thrice is there is student outside it is the C L three right. So, it is the what type of ligand uh, this is the bi dented ligand student and uh, bi dented ligand and three are there. So, three to the six coordination number six. So, cobalt is there here the it is uh, secondary valency is six. So, you can mention like that and here is what will be there is some uh, students here is one one here is another this is this one and this is the here. So, here it will be the 3 plus student uh, plus uh, 3 C L minus this is there right. Here is no center of symmetry student. So, they are going to be optically active compound because if they are not the superimposable on their mirror image student. If you draw the image of this one student. So, the image will come like E n will be this side student another E n this side right and here is the uh, this one E n will be this side. So, it cannot be divided into equal 3 plus part student. So, that is why they are going to be optically active compound student both are the optically active compound optically active compound that you have to keep in mind student this is the optically active neither it is superimposable on the mirror image nor it is having center of symmetry. So, the two already we have done student now we are trying to do the third one let us move out the and do the third one student what the third one is there 
N H 3 5 times N O 2. So, this is there, but here N O 2 is there now N O 3 is outside is there. So, it can represent N O 3 can go inside N O 2 can come out uh, in this side. So, it is going to represent ionization isomerism ionization isomerism this is going to represent a student ionization isomerism. Right. Now, you can ionize this one also, one is the ionization isomerism and here you can represent NO2 is there now student, this can be O N O also. So, this is also going to show linkage isomerism, linkage isomerism, one is the ionization and second one is the linkage isomerism. So, both things are possible students, right. Because once it is, let me deal with it with a student, CO is there, NH3, how many times student, this is the 5 times and this is the NO2, right, this is the NO2, 1, Up one other is also possible student, what is the possibilities there, the CO, you can put the NH3, it is the 5 time student and you can put ONO. So, this case here the linking atom is different, you can find here one linking atom is oxygen and another this one. So, it is going to be linkage isomerism, linkage isomerism, this is going to be linkage isomerism. Another ionization here you see student, CO NH 3 how many 5 time is there student NO 2 and outside here they have what is there student NO 3, this is the NO 3 is there and this is the twice. Now, what we can do, we can plug this one inside and this it can come out this side. So, what it can be possibilities there is to see you, this is the NH3 here 5 times and uh, you bring the NO2 1 and uh, uh, NO3, NO3 you can bring inside student and one NO2 it can go out outside and NO3 is also, also there. So, here you see this is the ionizing to give this one NO2 minus ion and here it will give the NO3 minus ion. So, different ion it is going to give in aqueous solution that is why it is go also going to represent what is student ionization isomerism student. Now, let us move out and try to understand the D1. What is the D1? Pt NH3 H2O Cl2. So, cis and trans it will represent cis and trans student cis and trans. This is very simple cis and trans. Let us draw it. Pt is there, total ligand is 4, Pt is there, total ligand is 4. So, similar group like what is Cl2 is there, you can put the together Cl, Cl and here is NH3 and what is there H2O. So, you will find a student what you are find this, this two group are together now same side. So, it becomes cis. Now, another case you see what is there student, this is the NH3 uh, is there. Uh, another you can CL, CL this side. So, uh, here is H2O. So, similar group is opposite side student, this is opposite side. So, it is going to be trans student this is. So, one is the cis here this cis isomer, another is the trans isomer student. Similar group same side that is cis and similar group opposite side that is going to be trans. Thank you, thank you student.